the world loves coffee. Legend has it that a 19th century Ethiopian goat herder named Kaldi discovered coffee by accident when he noticed how excited the beans were making his goats. From Kaldi, our love of coffee has exploded to 500 billion cups a year. But our massive coffee consumption has done little good for the world, until now. With every sip of Coexist Coffee, you can change the world. Let us show you how by taking a journey to the African country of Uganda. After a 21-hour journey by air, followed by a six-hour journey by land, we arrive at our destination. Welcome to Peace Kawamera. The Ugandan farmers here produce the Coexist coffee from the coffee berries which are grown in the lush, vibrant landscape around Mount Elgon. Life has not always been like this. People feared, just feared for their lives because whoever went against Amini's uh, ordinances would be killed. Idi Amin's brutal regime tore Uganda apart, turning Christian, Muslim, and Jewish communities against one another, creating decades of conflict and filling their lives with prejudice, hate, and violence. Having had enough, the communities rose up and came together to start a coffee cooperative. Our coffee is grown by Jewish, Christians, and Muslims. They have worked hard to produce a truly delicious coffee. It's organic, naturally processed, environmentally sustainable, and made to fair trade standards. Unified by working together, the communities built schools where Jewish, Christian, and Muslim children could learn together, creating a new generation free from prejudice, hate, and conflict. My name is JJ Kirk. We want education. Coexist Coffee from the Peace Kawamara Cooperative increases understanding and reduces conflict by getting people working and learning together. The more coffee the cooperative will sell, that will mean more students in the school. Every bag of Coexist Coffee that you buy provides everything a child needs for one week of education. Every sip changes the world. What are you doing with your sip? <laughs>